Welcome back to Canadian North Resources channel with an abundance of base metals for the renewable future and to give us a high level overview of the company, a little bit of milestone expectations in our history getting involved. We have Sophie, the head of corporate development, is always joining us. Welcome back. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Pleasure getting you back on as well. Now, I want to get right into this because for newer audiences, you're operating this kind of Ferguson Lake project that's uh, based in Nunavut. Uh, do you want to kind of just give us this high level overview of the assets, where you kind of sit today, and just give us that overall elevator pitch to the company? Great. So CNRI, we're exploring for critical minerals for clean energy, electric vehicles, and so on. Um, we're a quite advanced project. We own the property 100%. Um, it's sitting on just under 254 square kilometers in Nunavut. That's uh, and we're located. Ferguson Lake itself is located about 190 kilometers outside of Baker Lake. So we're exploring for copper, uh, copper, cobalt, nickel, and the PGM group, platinum and palladium. Yeah, and I, I don't think people appreciate how, especially with copper, the use cases when it comes to electric vehicles and wind turbines and how the demand is going to probably excel uh, into our futures. But do you want to just give an idea of where you guys currently sit? What are the expectations that we should be paying attention to coming into 2024? Uh, what are you paying most attention to? Um, so we did put out a mineral resource, but we've updated that with 39,270 meters of our own drilling. So what we want to do, we engaged SRK and what we're going to do for the first quarter of 2024 is update that resource. And the reason for that is we're looking at taking a lot of that inferred that we had in the original resource into indicated and really boosting that up into, you know, plus 70 million to 100 million ton resource that we're sitting on with a huge potential to develop in an extremely emerging mining friendly district. Now, finally, what in your history led up to that aha moment? How did you get involved with Canadian North Resources? I actually got involved with Canadian North Resources prior to them going public. I think that aha moment for me was the fact that, you know, they are exploring for critical minerals, uh, strategic metals that are on most countries' lists, that we're sitting on a world-class undeveloped resource, probably, you know, I, I'm going to venture to say potentially one of the largest in North America that hasn't been developed. And considering the fact that we're in a geopolitical stable region and that we have higher environmental standards when the world is turning to this carbon neutrality, that's what drew me to the project. I think it's the perfect project, perfectly situated to meet those demands that you mentioned in the next five to 10 years. Well, on that note, I appreciate all these insights today, and I'll pass that question off to the viewers. If you guys want news catalyst as it continues to come into play with Canadian North Resources, consider hitting that uh, subscribe button. And as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one. Mm -hmm.